Nine minutes ago, I received this email from WebArks. They're my go-to WordPress security plugin, and they've uncovered, maybe not they have, but somebody's uncovered, a security vulnerability in Elementor Pro and essential add-ons for Elementor. The vulnerability has been patched in the latest release, which is out now. Make sure you don't update that right away. If that's all you take away from this video, that's fantastic. If you want more details on what the vulnerability is and to check if you're compromised, watch the rest of the video. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business, and keep your sites more secure. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to the security vulnerability video so we can make sure you're protected. So if you click on full details in this email, it goes to this blog post. I've linked to this in the description down below this video if you want to check it out. This short blog post goes through all the details. If you have the time right now, you should go and read this to make sure you're up to date on what's actually happening. I'm just going to give you the highlights. What happens is a random user signs up to your site if registrations are open. Immediately, they upload files to your site, PHP files, using the vulnerability in WordPress, or sorry, Elementor Pro, they can upload those PHP files. And then split seconds later, a different IP tries to access those files that were just uploaded and use them as a backdoor to get into the site and take it over. That's how it works in a nutshell. Now, if you don't have registrations open in Elementor Pro, this does not affect you. However, if you have registrations closed in Elementor Pro, but you're using ultimate add-ons for Elementor, they can bypass the registration through a vulnerability in this plugin. So basically there's two vulnerabilities. Both have been patched. That's why I mentioned both of these plugins earlier at the beginning and that should update both of them because a hacker can bypass the registration requirements if registration is closed on your site. If you have this plugin installed, ultimate add-ons for Elementor, then you can upload the files with the vulnerability in Elementor Pro. So bottom line is if you have either of those, make sure you update them immediately. If you think you might have been affected or you want to check if you are, scroll down to the very bottom here. Here's a list of possible subscriber names that have been linked to this vulnerability. So if you have users on your site, you just go to users right here, go to all users, and then just copy one of these. Come over here, paste it into search, search for them. And if this one shows up, it's highly likely you've been compromised because this one's been linked to this exploit. And here's some others that have been linked. So you should technically search for all of these to make sure you haven't been compromised. And where the files are being uploaded, these are potential places to look for files. The files within Elementor Icons folder, these are files that have been linked to this compromise, to this vulnerability. If you have any IP tracking on your site, these are IP addresses that have been linked to this vulnerability. So if you checked all these places, check the users, check for files inside the custom icons folder, check IP addresses. If you, if you track this on your site and everything looks okay, that's great. You might still want to restore to a backup of your site. If you haven't published any new content, or made any changes in the past couple days, it's always safer to upload the backup or restore to a backup if nothing has changed on your site. If you're confident nothing has changed, you don't want to restore to a backup, that's fine, but I'll still keep a backup. So if you have backups that are overwritten, over time, like I do, like I have uh, seven backups and every seven days they're renewed. So every day I make a new backup and the seventh backup, the oldest one is removed. You might want to just copy one of those to your hard drive or save it somewhere else. Just in case you find a few days from now, something's compromised, you might want to restore back to that backup. And if you want to have a more secure site, you should check out my WordPress security action plan. It's only $7. If you sign up for the free download down below, it's a PDF checklist. You download that and you're taken to a sales page for just $7. It's normally $47, but I sell it for only $7 as long as you download the PDF first. And that $7 is going to help you secure your site. And I'm in the middle of renewing all the video tutorials in that course for 2020. So look out for the updated videos that are coming soon. The videos and concepts there still work. I'm just replacing some of the plugins in the videos because now I'm using different ones. Some of the ones are outdated. You get the idea. So the update for 2020 is coming soon. Make sure. If you want to secure your site, you check that out. It's only $7 for a more secure site and you can use it on unlimited sites. So the bottom line is, again, if you have Elementor Pro or essential add-ons for Elementor, make sure you go and update them both immediately and check those places I just told you about to see if you're compromised. Then check out this video over here that shows you the top 10 security mistakes I see over and over again on WordPress sites. And check out this video right here that explains why hackers want to get into your site even if you have no traffic at all. Check that out. Then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.